Hello guys and welcome back to another video and uh, today we'll be looking at strings re strings and string literals inside the Zig programming language. So uh, it, wo it, is, it is worth noting that in Zig there is no exact data type as a string data type but there is a way to represent the data type inside the program. So uh, in Zig a string is just a sequence of bytes. So uh, you will hear someone saying that it's it's also an array of characters, which is true. We will see arrays in much, much more details. But just know a uh, string in Zig is just a sequence of bytes. So uh, let us see the strings uh, in action. So I'll go ahead here and just import the standard library. So cons, then I will import I will import it. I will import std like that and make sure that you have terminated it with a semicolon then i'll go ahead and define my main function so pub fn main like that then the return type which if you can remember we said that this means that it may not return something so that's the meaning of void and this exclamation mark means that it may return an error so it, that's just a refresher so let's go ahead and be and define a simple string so uh, you can see a string as just a word. If you want to represent a certain word or uh, word-like uh, data inside your program, you can use uh, strings. So for example, if I want to represent the name of a person, I will use uh, a string. So let me show you how to declare a string. So I'll go ahead and say const, meaning that we won't change this, uh, this variable. So followed by the name of the variable. So uh, I can say, uh, something like first name <coughs> equals to uh, followed by a double quotation mark so remember that you have to put the double quotation marks to indicate that this is a string that you want to define so uh, I'll go ahead and say John then terminate it with a semicolon so let's go ahead and print it in the standard output and see uh, what uh, this first name holds so I'll go ahead and say std dot debug dot print like that <coughs> then uh, followed by uh, the formatters the, the string formatters so we'll start by putting the uh, double quotation marks followed by these calibraces then here you can uh, put the type that you want to print uh, on the standard output so we want to print a string so I'll put s over here meaning that we want to print a string then followed by a comma then dot calibraces then the name of the variable first name then I'll go ahead and terminate it with a, a semicolon so let's go ahead and run it over here in the terminal so zig run uh, main dot zig so remember in the previous videos uh, uh, we are used to we are used to building then we run the executable so you can do that or you can do this at one go so uh, this will compile it build it and run the executable automatically so zig run main.zig then just press enter <coughs> so you can see it has printed the word john here over here so uh, to illustrate more uh, of what I was telling you that it's a sequence of bytes uh, it's not a string or it's not uh, the exact string data type uh, you can go ahead here and just uh, see the type of of the of this first name over here so I'll delete this and say at type of so uh, if you're new to Zig, this is what they are calling built-in functions. So built-in functions are special functions that are built uh, inside the compiler. So they come with the compiler so you can use it, you can use them to do some certain things. So this is a this is a built-in function that returns the type of an object or the type of a variable or type of uh, any structure inside your program. So over here you just put the the variable name 
for us to see what is the type of this first name what is the type so uh i'll go ahead and uh and run it zig run main dot zig so uh it will fail because we have put an s over here and we are not printing a string so what we will do i will go ahead and just remove the s over here and let it remain like that and try running it again now you have seen that it has printed star const uh this is what i'm telling you that it's a sequence of of bytes because u8 is just a data type meaning one byte and these brackets uh are uh, mean means that it's an array so it is is not one uh one element so it can contain many uh, many uh, many bytes so for, uh, from this example over here so j takes one byte o takes one byte h takes one byte and n takes one byte so it's a const then you can see there is this asterisk over here or multiplication sign in or whatever you call it so this is what we are calling a pointer to a constant uh, u8 uh, slice so uh, what is a pointer so if you are, you have not dealt with pointers in other programming languages so a pointer is just a special variable or a special thing that points or holds the memory address to another uh, variable or another object inside your value so if you want to store uh, the memory ad memory address of a certain thing inside your or as or variable inside your program we use the pointers and they are uh, if you see a star uh, you automatically you see this is a pointer as you can see this is a const pointer that has uh, this uh, uh, this length over here so this is the length so we we are saying that uh, it is of length 4 till the end now uh, let us see here to confirm if they are four so one two three four so this is what they are meaning over here so uh that uh this is what we are calling a string reader over here so uh over here you can see that we haven't annotated the type of this this thing over here the type is annotated automatically and its type is just simple is just const you can do something like this u8 like that so you can just annotate the type of over, over here like this or you just leave uh, the compiler to infer the type for you so this is what we are calling uh, uh, a string in um, in zig so uh, being that it's an array and we know that array starts from element or index 0 we can access individual characters using uh, the annotation or the index annotation inside our program so let me remove this one over here so i can go ahead and say first name followed by these brackets so if i want to access the first element over here i will just go ahead and just type uh, zero element zero so we start from zero one two two three so on and so forth so if i try to print this now i want to print an individual character so over here the former specifier i will just put a c meaning that i want to print an individual character so I'll go ahead and run it you can see it has printed j because j it's at index zero so if i want uh, the second character i'll just put one will print o if i want the the second or the third element i will just uh, use two like that you will see h so what happens if i remove the c over here and try printing it let us see it returns the unicode number uh, that represent the certain uh, this certain 
a character over here so if you go to the if i'm not wrong the ascii table you'll see that it's 104 uh, represent represents h but if you want to return the actual character you just put c and run it you can see it has returned h so you can go on uh, accessing individual characters using this annotation over here so there are more to pointers uh oh not pointers strings that we'll see on later later videos but this is just the basic this is just the uh the the bottom or the the top of uh of strings so this is just the uh, a basic overview of uh, what strings look look like uh inside the zig programming language but there are more advanced stuff so i will cover another video uh, that will go into deeper details uh, after we have covered uh, some certain concepts like arrays pointers so on and so forth so uh this is just a basic overview so we'll see more advanced uh, topics in later videos so uh if you have enjoyed the video just put the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content so if you have any question just leave on the comment section i'll be happy to reply to you so thank you for watching this video and see you on the next one